Uh, hello again and welcome to another short video. Uh, this time I thought I would show you how to uh, create a token module. Uh, this comes up uh, fairly frequently. Uh, it's good practice to keep your tokens in modules, especially if you have uh, many of them. That way you can uh, open them as needed and close them again when not needed and they'll uh, reduce the amount of memory that Fantasy Grounds is using. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to find uh, your uh, Fantasy Grounds modules folder, which um, is usually in app data roaming Fantasy Grounds modules, but it could be elsewhere. Um, but if you find your uh, Fantasy Grounds module, and what you want to do is you want to find uh, this module here called uh, Letter Tokens Mod. Now you can actually use other ones, but this is the one I uh, uh, use. It's the easiest one to get hold of and the easiest one to edit. Uh, so what we want to do here is want to make a copy of this. So we're just going to uh, right click and copy it uh, and then we're going to uh, paste the module uh, into uh, a new location. Uh, anywhere will do but don't copy it back into the uh, Fantasy Grounds uh, modules. Uh, we then need to uh, unzip this file so we do this by right clicking on it. Uh, we go to rename and then we change the dot mod uh, to .zip. Uh, now, if you don't see the dot .mod, it means that uh, file extensions are being hidden and you may need to uh, adjust your uh, windows so that uh, it shows uh, file uh, endings like that. Uh, once you've got it uh, to zip, uh, then we just simply right click again and uh, unzip it. Uh, just extract all, just accept the default. Um, and this will take you to the uh, screen, uh, which shows you the innards of the module itself. So there's three parts to it. You can see there's a little thumbnail here. Um, there's a definition XML file and there is a tokens folder. So if we look at the tokens folder, we can see that there are two subfolders here, one for medium and one for small. So if we have a look in there, these are the medium letters. We don't need these. We don't want them. So we're just going to select them all and delete them. And we're going to do the same for the uh, ones in the small. We're just going to select them all and delete them. Uh, we're now going to change the names of these because medium and small probably doesn't suit what you're looking for. So we're just going to right click uh, and rename. And this one, let's call this one Beasts. And uh, this one here, let's rename this one and just call it More Beasts because I can never think of names. So now we've got uh, two folders here with uh, uh, nothing in them. You can uh, add as many folders as you like. If you've got thousands of tokens, you can uh, create all the folders for dragons and orcs and whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. And, and these names will appear uh, in the token bag when you uh, open this module. Uh, so we need to uh, put some uh, tokens into these modules. So let's just grab some tokens uh, quickly from uh, nowhere in particular. Uh, and we'll just uh, add a few in there for fun. And we'll just add a few in uh, this one as well. Um, obviously, you want to be a bit more careful and sort them all out, etc., etc. So that's basically you've, you've got your uh, tokens in, into the various folders that you uh, want them in. So if we go back to the uh, main uh, file here, um, you can change the thumbnail if you like. Um, it needs to be a PNG file. Uh, dimensions are usually, well, you can see that one there, 75 by 86. But any, anything quite small, PNG file, you can create your own thumbnail if you like. And if you do, then just replace this one here and uh, type it exactly as it is, or name it exactly as it is, thumbnail.png. Um, you now need to go into this definition file here, the definition XML. So if you just click that and it'll open up in whatever text editor you have. I've got Notepad++, but it'll open up in any text editor. Uh, and it's a very, very simple file, uh, so you don't really need to worry about it too much. But we, want to, don't call, we don't want to call it letter tokens anymore. We want to call it something else, so let's call it My Beasts. Just leave the rule set at any. Um, the rule set any means that it will open up in any rule set. Uh, it won't be restricted to any, but if you wanted to restrict it just to 5e, for example, you would put 5e in there. Uh, but basically just leave that as any and it will open in any rule set. And then we've got the author here. 
So you can put in uh, your own name or whatever name you particularly want. Uh, and once you've done that, we just uh, save the file. And that's it done. And now we need to zip this all back up. So it's very important that uh, you don't go into uh, this file here, this folder here. Uh, you actually need to go into the inside of this. You want to select all the files, uh, right click, and then uh, you, yours might be different. I'm using 7-zip, but it might be different here. It could be here, send to uh, compressed file. Uh, but I'm using 7-zip, so this is the way that I, I do it. Um, and you simply just uh, click this one, add to letter token zip. And Windows will do its work, and you will now have a new zip file. So this one, of course, is still called letter tokens. Uh, so we need to change that. Click rename. Uh, we called it my beasts. So call it my beasts. And we change the dot zip to back to dot mod. Uh, and that's it. So we can now uh, copy this and we can uh, put it back into our uh, modules folder in Fantasy Grounds. Paste it in there. And then when we uh, start up Fantasy Grounds, uh, we'll be able to uh, access that module uh, once Fantasy Grounds loads. Uh, so we'll just they talk inanely until the fantasy ground loads and here we go so we're going to our tokens click on tokens go to modules um, and search for my beasts and there we have it we didn't change the thumbnail so it's still the uh, thumbnail that uh, moon wizard used to design the uh, tokens uh, we can then load this and we can see now that we've got two folders and or we've got a folder in here called my beasts if we double click on that, we've got beasts and more beasts, and there's our tokens. Uh, so that's it, really. Um, it's as simple or as complicated as that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, cheers for now.